classification of living things. What do a worm, a cat, a fish, a bear, a lion, a tiger, a deer, and a tree have in common? They are all living things. With so many living things in the world, scientists have created a way to organize life into groups and give them names that are recognized worldwide. So if you ever find yourself in China at a zoo looking to see the lions and there is nobody there speaking your language, what are you supposed to do to ask to see the lions? Scientific classifications grouping of organisms can help you determine a lion's scientific name. From general to specific, the levels of classification are kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. A lion belongs to the kingdom Animalia, a group that includes all animals. So in our group of organisms, the tree would not fit into this grouping. The phylum that the lion fits into is called chordate. This is a group that includes everything with a backbone. The worm would be eliminated from our group because of its lack of a backbone. Class is the name of the next level of classification. The class that the lion belongs to is called mammalia. Scientists use Greek or Latin words for the levels because they are understood everywhere. Mammalia means mammal or animals with hair or fur. The fish is removed from our group because it's not a mammal. Order is the name of the next level and the order a lion belongs to is called carnivora, which means meat eating. The deer is not a member of this order and he is removed. Next, we have family. A lion is in the Felidae family. Members of this family have retractable claws, so the bear is removed. Then we have a level called genus. A lion is in the genus Panthera, which means roaring cat. The house cat does not roar, so it is removed. Finally, we have the level called species. Members of the same species can breed and produce offspring. A lion is in the species Leo. So the tiger is removed from this group. So a lion is an animal with a backbone that has hair or fur, eats meat, has retractable claws, can roar, and goes by the name Leo. The lion's scientific name is Panthera leo. Scientific names are an organism's genus followed by its species. So a lion is Panthera leo. So if you ever find yourself looking for lions at a zoo in China and nobody there is speaking your language, all you need to do is ask to see the panthera leo, and you will be sure to see the lions. Classification of Living Things